His hat is red and his shoes are yellow. He has a bright red shiny nose and he wears the funniest look and clothes. My name is Sonora. If this is your first time seeing me, you are definitely welcome to my channel. And for those that are returning subscribers, you already know you are the ish, okay? <laughs> okay, so welcome to my channel. What's up, guys? What's good? What's, what's popping? Hmm? <laughs> Go ahead and join the family down below. Subscribe. Don't be shy. Come on. Subscribe. Subscribe. Okay. So guys, today we are continuing our Halloween series and I'm bringing you guys another look, but this one is going to be uh, a clown, a clown tutorial. So I've never done a clown tutorial before, so this is going to be a first for me too. Uh, it's going to be quite a cute clown. I'm going for a cute clown, okay? Now you never know. With what happened last time, I wasn't going for that kind of monster but you know what should happen so we never know hopefully we get a cute clown out of this but if not i hope y'all still love me okay <laughs> without any further ado let's get started okay guys let's get this circus going okay i'm using the pacifica gem serum that i love it literally makes your face glow to the moon okay so i'm just putting it around my face trying to moisturize a bit do you know what i mean now doing my eyebrows, just using a regular pencil and just doing my eyebrows the way I usually do it. Remember, we're doing a glam clown. We ain't trying to look scary and shit. <laughs> okay, now I'm using the NYX Color Correct palette. And I'm going in with the lighter color for my eyebrows because I really want that highlight. I want that pop, you feel me? So I'm just cleaning off my eyebrows right now. That should be really white though. <laughs> but that's cool. That's what I was going for. So we good. Okay, now I'm just blending that concealer in. Using the Masquerade palette from Juga's Place. It's going to be our main palette. So it's basically the crown of the look. Okay, so I'm starting off with my base color. Now I'm grabbing that reddish orangey, blending it into my crease. Now I'm grabbing that purple, yes, purple, and we're just going to even deepen that crease. Remember, we need to blend, you need to blend it out. Now I'm just cutting my crease. Yeah, there's a lot of crease used here. But anyways, I'm cutting my crease and I'm using still the NYX color palette. And now I'm grabbing the color from the Masquerade palette. It's a pink. It's a really pink color. And I'm just tapping it into the crease that I drew. And I'm, I'm actually going to be doing two color. Like, like did I just say two color? Two colors. I'm using the purple now. I'm starting off my crease with it. I love that pink because it is so pigmented and it's literally like it's literally life itself. So pigmented. I just really wanted to combine two of my favorite colors together. Now I'm putting foundation on and I'm putting Milani foundation. I like it. It looks a bit lighter here, but it's definitely my shade. Okay. Now I'm just blending all that in. Making sure everything is neat and clean and blended and we don't have three colors or three skin tones. Mm -hmm. Are we getting there? Make sure you put your foundation on, on your neat. Like it's so major, super important. Grabbing my Makeup Revolution Concealer and I am just putting it around my under eye. We're about to conceal, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, don't forget that nose and the forehead. Now blending it in. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Make sure you really get into that eye socket. <laughs> I like to say socket so bad. Mm -hmm. Blending everything together. 
right now we're still at the glam part of the look like we haven't even gotten to the clown part so this is still basic stuff you guys already know but you know I still wanted to take you through what I did exactly to get the clown look mm, that was cute guess it's to you too boo using the black radiance setting powder just going to set my under eyes well I'm gonna set my face right now and then I'm going to be baking it yes I really like this setting powder it's super affordable and it gives you a great job like I live for a deal and a deal you know <laughs> you know what I mean just brushing all that powder up before I bake and we're now baking Grabbing my CoverGirl concealer, did I just say concealer? Grabbing my CoverGirl pencil, it's a dark pencil. I'm drawing out the shape of the clown's neck. <laughs> That's clowning. Clown's neck. Anyways, yeah, I'm drawing out the shape of the clown's neck. And we're going to link the down, well, not the, we're going to down, like, oh my god. Now I'm making some little triangles down to... Make sure the neck is the way I want it to look. Mm, I can't wait to fill that in. That was my favorite part. It was just looking so pretty, so so colorful, you know? Yeah, I'm using that pink and I'm filling it in. This took a bunch of time. Take your time if you're doing this, honestly. And I really didn't want to use a base because I felt it was just going to be too much. I felt like if I put just a shadow, it would be enough because they're really pigmented. It's Juvia's Place, hello. Yeah, and it was pigmented enough. So I'm filling out. I'm doing two pink and I'm doing two blue. Blue, purple, slash. Right, just making sure everything is even in there. Blended it in. Now I'm grabbing that purple and I'm filling the other side in. Other sides. Making sure I do the same on the other side. Grabbing a blue, like a shimmery blue, and I'm just, I just want that blue to pop. I wanted that contrast, that highlight effect next to the pink, and that's what I did. I basically put it mostly uh, on the borders of the triangle slash shape slash neck. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay, doing the same thing there too. Now I'm brushing off that baking, the black radiant setting powder. Face is snatched and popping. Grabbing my CoverGirl pencil again, the black pencil, and I'm going to be drawing my clown eyes slash triangles. We're literally just making triangles, literally. Two on each eye, one up, one down. So we're basically just drawing the clown eyes slash triangles. And I'm still using my CoverGirl pencil. I'm making a triangle up and down the eye, each eye. And now using my Fake Up Fix palette. I'm using it to fill the triangles with glitter, and I'm using pink and purple glitter for that. So pink inside the triangle, and at the end, well at the tip of the triangle, I'm going to put the purple color. So now I'm adding the jewels and I'm putting it at the corner of each angle basically. 
the good thing about it is that they come with, or, with glue already on them so you don't have to add any glue so that's super cool doing the same thing on each corner of each triangle now I am reinforcing the color of my lines on the triangles and I use the eyeshadow color coal from the Anastasia Beverly Hills artist palette shaping everything we just put so now we're drawing the lips guys clown lips so important so so important so I'm using my Inglot gel liner to draw this as well that and another liner because I wasn't that dark enough and I'm just drawing the corners you really you really want to make a triangle at the tip of your if you can say that at the tip of your lips and now I am using my velvet matte lipstick from Victoria's Secret well that's just the lipstick but we're going to be adding some glitter I'm, I'm gonna grab that fake up fix palette again to do the glitter exactly putting the pink on the top of the lip and down the, the lower lip I guess the lower lip we're going to put some purple oh my god I look like cotton candy golly putting that purple on the lower lip now I'm grabbing my mascara and I'm just doing that before applying my lashes for lashes today we are wearing flutter lashes from Frosty I love flutter lashes literally my favorite lashes ever so yeah now I'm using the ColourPop uh, X Makeup Shayla in the color Booming for my highlight because hey, what's life without a glow? I really didn't feel like doing the nose for this clown because I still wanted to keep it cute and pretty. Now I'm using my Milani Makeup Dewy setting spray and I'm just bringing all that heat in. <laughs> Okay guys, this concludes our clown makeup tutorial. I used my two of my favorite colors, purple and pink, to complete this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment down below if you like this look or if you have any requests about what you want me to do next for Halloween. I think this is cute. This was cute and fun. So I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.